Next up from Belfast is Kieran Kelly from Ublockity. Ublockity operationalizes blockchain technology across global supply chains by optimizing the accuracy and traceability of goods, blending best in class technology with cutting edge science to prove, authenticate, validate, and ensure supply chain integrity and establish higher trust between all stakeholders. Good morning, judges. My name is Kieran Kelly. I'm the founder and CTO of an All-Ireland business called Ublockity. You may ask what these are and why I have them with me. What a cattle reader and a DNA tag have to do with a law enforcement body cam and a military grade seal. Well, I'm about to tell you, they're all underpinned by a little piece of technology driven by Bitcoin called the blockchain. We're addressing a $54 billion deficit in global trade and food fraud. We're based in Northern Ireland. We started life in the pandemic and we raised two and a quarter million to enable technology to drive frictionless trade as a result of the United Kingdom leaving the European Union. There are many provenance platforms out there, but we're quite unique because we deliver from creation to the point of consumption. We're addressing a total addressable market of 500 billion with a serviceable addressable market of 300 million. We started life on the 28th of August, 2021, and we were revenue generating on the 8th of October, 2021, and had 1 million ARR in the first year. We have been awarded a three-year contract with a global systems integrator called Fujitsu to underpin frictionless trade between the UK and its global trading partners. We've recently uh, signed up as, a, as an AWS partner and three contracts with a TCV of 6.2 million over the next three years for an artisan producer called Loudon. You may not know them, but they work exclusively with a little known artist called Ed Sheeran. The provenance of their products is impeccable. And what they want to do is to allow the artist to move their products freely across borders. This lock goes on to the back of all logistics coming from GB into Northern Ireland, pharmaceutical and food related products to allow it to travel frictionlessly where we identify actors, assets and journeys and we provide a single version of the truth for all government agencies, the consignor, the consignee and the haulier to take friction and to take cost out of the trade. One of our food producers is saving 51 man hours per day just by using transparency. The blockchain is there in its original form to establish an ecosystem of trust, trade on the trust economy, take cost out of the business and increase uh, your visibility in the marketplace. Thank you very much for listening to me today. I'll invite any questions. Great, thank you, Kieran. Clearly lots of different applications for the technology and what you've developed. Talk to us about your plan for the next 12 or 24 months and where you're going to focus your efforts. So thank you very much for the question. We're focusing our efforts on, on three sectors. One is provenance of, of goods and services, so food and artisan products. Uh, frictionless trade to allow products to move over borders, not only UK borders, but also US, North America and Asia. And then also digital trade. So what we're doing with our, with our partners in Amazon Institute of Export and Global Trade Services, we're actually helping them facilitate their digital trade moving across borders uh, and, and growing our business through uh, a pool mechanism. Some of it is through stipulation, uh, through government requirements, some of its supply chain requirements, some of its regulatory requirements. But our growth has been exceptional over the past uh, year and a half and we intend to maximise but ultimately focus on the three sectors in which we operate. Hi, Kieran. Um, the solution is targeted mostly at transfer of physical goods across borders? Yes, right. And um, are you selling the solution into an existing market with, you know, but underpinned by blockchain to modernize an existing demand or is the market for this uh, capability emerging 
in and of itself? It's actually a great question. So you're, you're going into a traditional marketplace where you have legacy uh, installs of ERP, traffic management systems, um, store warehouse management systems, but they're all not connected. They're operating in silos. What blockchain does, it allows those uh, silos to become a single version of the truth and allows those cu customers to trade and those brands to trade on the trust economy. So whilst it is a legacy environment, you're also uh, supporting that future digital transformation without having to uh, forklift any of the traditional technology. So you're sweating the assets the customer has invested on and then over time will automatically transfer into that complete digital piece. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. Thank you.